So now, okay, um, on you know being new, uh, newly appointed for the, this position, um, what 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 are you going to do? You know, is is there going to be a huge shakeup in, in terms of uh, you know how the how the, <laughs> the bilateral ties the are going to work? Ties. Well, you know, I I think the relationship between the United States and Malaysia has had a, a couple of really strong elements to mm -hmm. it. I mean, the business relationship yep. has always been very good. I mean, yeah. American companies are very happy here. Yeah. They employ tens of thousands of Malaysians. They're great employers. They do a lot of community service. Mm -hmm. And uh, and our military relationship has been quietly very effective and good. Mm -hmm. And Secretary Gates was here. Yeah. But I think what we what maybe we haven't done is is put that all together and particularly put together the people to people ties. Mm -hmm. You know, in the 1980s, Malaysia sent more students to the United States than any other country in the world. Yes. yes. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. And, and we don't have to do that again necessarily, yeah. but we want to do a lot more of the people to people connection. This is what Secretary Clinton was speaking about yes. while right. she was yeah. here. Okay. Yes, Malaysia and U.S. Bole. <laughs> exactly. That she, caused um, a lovely response here. Well, it's our, it's our new motto. It's, uh, yes, yeah. it is. And Malaysia, uh, US uh, President Obama is also just in a very near country as well, our neighboring country mm -hmm. in, uh, in Indonesia. That's right. Uh, visiting as well. So, um, now, I want to talk a little, little bit about the recent elections uh, mm -hmm. in America, sure. and you know, um, the House, of course, you know, went back to the Republicans. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know which party do, do you serve. Are, are you a Democrat or? Republican? <laughs> you know, I'm a, you I'm a apolitical civil servant, or rather, career diplomat. Okay, you just serve the government. I, I quietly have my own views, but I okay. don't share them. All right, <laughs> no, fair enough, fair enough. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, how, how do you think it's going to affect um, the political scene? You know, now that it's shifted a little bit. Um, uh, with the House and also the Senate as well. Yeah. It, well, well, we're going to have to see how it plays out. Mm -hmm. But one thing is, in the American system, the president pretty much determines foreign policy. Yeah. So I don't think you're going to see any changes in America's yeah. engagement with the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, and in many ways, our foreign policy, particularly, I'd say, in this part of the world, in Asia, is very bipartisan. I yeah. mean, you have you know leaders of both parties in Congress who are very much in favor of uh, more and more engagement with Asia, with mm -hmm. Southeast Asia especially. You know, in the United States, there's a lot of debates going on about yeah. how to handle the economy, how mm. to, you know, how to handle people who are out of work. There's a lot of unemployment. Yeah. But, you know, we, we go through these periods. Mm. Uh, and I think, you know, the fundamentals of the American economy are very strong. Mm. And it's, you know, companies are posting profits. A lot of companies are investing here in Malaysia. Yeah. So I think we're, you know, we'll see that turn around. Right. But is there a change in terms of the, the, the foreign policy now that, you know, because of the recession back home, um, is is the government trying to advocate like you know you know do well do better outside so that you know the economy in in, in the states can sort of like you know improve? Well, yeah, I mean I think maybe you saw that a little bit with Senator, with President Obama's trip to India mm -hmm. where he was you know talking all about exports. Yeah, uh, exports. and but also about business partnerships. You know when Senator Clinton was here, she did a wonderful event with Malaysia Airlines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and this was commemorate you know sort of marking that uh, Malaysia Airlines purchased. Uh, Pratt and Whitney engines for their aircraft, as well mm -hmm. as GE engines yeah, and GE Boeing engines. Air, air, aircraft, Aircrafts, yeah. mm -hmm. created jobs in both countries yeah. mm -hmm. uh, because the maintenance is done here, yeah. and the engines are built in the United States, and the technology is transferred here. Mm. So it's a win-win, as, as she said, with her you know, Malaysia America. Malaysia, Malaysia America. America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So when you first uh, got nominated and uh, yeah. got the posting here in Malaysia, I mean, what what was going through your head? Uh, how thrilling. <laughs> no, seriously. Because you've been exciting. to um, Asia before you served um, in Philippines, so you basically yeah. know the culture. Of I, I, I know the region a bit, um, but, you know, Malaysia has such a diverse culture mm -hmm. and, and has a, a really unique blend, I think, of multiculturalism. But one, one of the things that struck the President, I mean, Secretary Clinton when right. she was here so much. The conversation that happens here and the economic vibrancy is mm. really quite remarkable. And, mm. uh, you know, one person at her town interview, you know, her interview and town hall combination. Yeah. The, the yeah. last gentleman who spoke, I don't know if you, you watched it closely, but he stood up and he said, you know, we ought to have a closer people-to-people -people relationship and there ought to be a better understanding and appreciation for how far Malaysia has come mm -hmm. and, and how what the United States wants to do is help the world uh, li lift people out of poverty. And yeah. Malaysia has really done that over 30 years in a remarkable way. So, so I was thrilled and <laughs> delighted to be here. <laughs> so eight weeks already and uh, yes, you were recently sworn in. So um, what's the first in the list of to do? Or first of all, you've got to get the family to be just to settle down, although they're quite used to oh, traveling yeah. quite a bit. Well, well we, we love to get out and we've traveled already. I've been out oh. to Penang, mm. down to Sabah, 
Pahang, my wife and kids and I went to Pahang and right. we were there for the Sultan's 80th uh, birthday. Oh, oh yeah. Sprinkles. It was Sprinkles, tremendous. Yeah. Sprinkles, yeah. I, I got to meet Siti oh, uh, and yeah. hear her sing. Stars, oh, yeah. yeah. It, was really, it was really quite exciting. We're planning to travel a lot more. That's mm. one of our big to-do mm. things. Yeah, Malaysia serves as a pretty good hub to travel across Southeast Asia, actually, because it's, you know, strategically located here. So everywhere <laughs> yeah. is kind of near. That's right. You know, plane rides like two, three hours, two, yeah. three hours. Yeah. But, but there are many places in, in, in Malaysia, Malaysia as well. Yeah. As well. Yeah. And the other to do is to try all the food everywhere. We've done our best, but we haven't gotten everywhere. Be we gentle have. first, be kind, because it can be a little bit spicy. Yeah. We, we love it. Nasi yeah. lemak for breakfast, yeah. <laughs> it's nothing better. Uh, <laughs> Some people cannot comprehend the idea that we're eating rice for breakfast. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. But uh, I, I have one, one of the few phrases I've learned so far. I'm studying mm. my Bahasa Malay, uh, uh, Sudamakan, yeah. uh, oh, because okay. uh, I, I get fed, I don't know, four or five times yeah. in, a, in a day. So you got to say, you got to say no, right? And it's Sudamakan. Well, yeah. <laughs> I've eaten, I've eaten. But it's delicious. It but really you've got such a great job. I mean, you, um, you, you already learn, you, you know Spanish, you know Russian, if I'm not yes. mistaken, right? Yes. And then when the Philippines, yeah. did you learn Tagalog? Uh, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> not, not enough, but a little enough. bit. Okay. And, uh, and I'll study more here. It's a wonderful job. I mean, it's a great honor to represent President Obama, Secretary mm -hmm. Clinton, and the American people here. And uh, that's a great privilege and honor. It's also just the, the, the people I, I have the opportunity to meet. I mean, your government leadership, your prime minister, your foreign minister, sophisticated people in business and then entertainment. My, one of my goals is to meet Nicole David, uh, I've oh, yes. <laughs> oh, okay. she's, oh, yeah. she's, she's a wonder woman. She's out girl. in Doha right now, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. making short work of everyone on the squash court. Yeah. So it's really <laughs> she has been pretty much uh, trashing everyone consistent. on the court. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. consistent yeah. indeed. Yeah. Oh, well, okay yeah. then. Well, thank you very much. Uh, well, we, we hope you uh, enjoy the rest of your stay and of course, uh, you know, keeping the Malaysian and uh, United States uh, relationship well and, you know, healthy. <laughs> Any last words to our viewers at home before you wrap up the interview? Well, my, my last words would only be uh, to, to everyone is that I, I think that we can, we can do more between our peoples. And uh, I just sent off 50 uh, uh, Malaysian students who are very, for the very first time, they're 17 years old, going to spend six months in the United States in hometowns. And oh, the tables that's great. In their senior year in high school, we want to do a lot more of that. So that's yeah. that's what we're looking to do. So thank you so much for having me. I really thank appreciate you for it. taking Daphne, time to, to be here yeah. with me. I know you're on a busy schedule. You. I have a teenage daughter. I need your 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 autograph and photograph. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm yeah, sure so they're much into, more into the, like the Jonas Brothers or Justin mm. Bieber or something like that. You look like Justin Bieber too. <laughs> We got the hair, I'm trying to get the hair. Anyway, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah. Great pleasure. Thank you so thank much. Thank you, Debbie. thank you. There you have okay. it. We have His Excellency Paul W. Jones, the United States Ambassador to Malaysia, and mm. we're very excited indeed. Um, I'm sure we'll be having more talks with him with regards to yeah, uh, how we can yeah. further strengthen the uh, ties between Malaysia and the United States.